Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Takuya. I make all articles, videos, and music tracks on this channel. I am Japanese born and rise only Japan. So please forgive me if my English is difficult to listen to. What I want to talk to you about today is the recommendation of learning Japanese with songs. Let me first talk about the feature of the Japanese song language. Because the song language has different features from the written or spoken language. Actually, there are so many different kinds of music, so I'll only talk in ideal songs. First of all, written language is formal, and the spoken language is casual in Japan. I'm sure this is true of many languages around the world. Such features were born because writing is often used in formal situations, and speaking is often used in casual situations. Also, the form of language can change depending on whether it is pronounced or not. Japanese seem to have this tendency comparatively, and song language is somewhere in between. Lyrics were originally poetry. In other words, it's a written language. But when you sing a song, you have to pronounce it, so it is closer to spoken language. So the language of song is somewhere in between. This is a pen. It's sometimes the first English that Japanese people learn. But is it written or spoken? This basic sentence is neither written nor spoken, is it? The Japanese written textbooks that you learn for the first time are also neutral sentences with no characteristics like this. So the Japanese used in songs is beginner friendly. There are other good things too. The keigo and the rhythmic expressions are not foreigners. This is an element included in both written and spoken Japanese. But it is also basically not used in Japanese for singing. Yay! Pitch accent, which is unique to Japanese, is also not necessary to remember for the moment. In music, pitch follows the melody. Speaking of grammar, Japanese uses many particles to form sentences. These are attached to the words. And have the function of indicating their role in a sentence. It must eventually be mastered in order to speak Japanese properly. However, they are often omitted in lyrics and poems. In such cases, native Japanese speakers can only guess. In this sense, it can be said that grammar in lyrics and poems is not so important. That is why learning Japanese with songs is suitable for beginners. However, this learning is only an extension of enjoyment. Those who aim to acquire realistic conversational skills should study other things as well. People who are suited to learn with songs are people who like Japanese music. Well, this is obvious. People who like poetry and literature. People who like the sound of Japanese words. People who like Japanese culture. If you are such a person, you will enjoy this course and you will not regret it. I'm gonna start uploading videos of very beginner level Japanese lessons. There are two themes Japanese pronunciation and minimum grammar for reading sentences. When you graduate from this, you'll be able to sing if you have a lyric sheet with the alphabet, and you will be able to roughly guess the meaning of the lyrics if you can look at the meaning of the words. Being able to guess the meaning of the lyrics means that you can appreciate poetry like a native Japanese speaker. The special lyric sheet I've been using in the Learn Japanese with Songs series include the alphabetical reading of the lyrics and the meaning of each word. You can use this to understand and enjoy Japanese songs. Let's start the lesson with the following video. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel.
Thank you so much for watching.